It's a fall cool down in Seattle. I don't think Seattle is that different. It is more expensive than a typical market, so that makes it more susceptible to these swings in mortgage rates. According to Redfin, Seattle's housing market is cooling faster than other cities. Chief economist Daryl Fairweather attributes that to the high mortgage rates, inflation, and economic uncertainty. Those high mortgage rates really do add up to a lot of dollars in a market as expensive as Seattle. We're now seeing the results. According to the Northwest Multiple Listing Service, which is a nonprofit that tracks Washington real estate, houses are on the market longer than in 2021. In September of this year, the housing inventory was about two months worth versus... Well, back in April, we had about probably around 10 days at the most, 14 days of inventory. So a very big difference between now and the peak of the market. Ginger York with Marketplace Sotheby's International Realty says homes are also decreasing the listing prices, allowing buyers more opportunity to negotiate. Well, back in April, they had maybe two or three homes to choose from. Now they might have 10 or 20 homes to choose from, and that might allow them to get in their favorite neighborhoods. While we are seeing houses go down in price now, the median price for a home is still higher than last year. September 2021, the median sales price of a home in Seattle was $765,000. September 2022, it was at $815,000. Our markets of King Pearson, Snohomish counties are still up 5.1 percent as of September and that's over 2021 so sellers still have gains. Interest rates are now at 7 percent which is cautioning some from diving into this market. With so many unknowns I asked Fairweather about future predictions. For the most part we're expecting home prices to be flat and that really means is that we think it's as likely that home prices go up compared to them going down like both scenarios are equally likely. Now, Fairweather says no matter the market, it is important not to overextend yourself financially as those prices do decline. It would be a problem if, say, you were to lose a job, an emergency happened, and you'd have to sell that house fast. In that case, it would be a major loss. Live here in Seattle, I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.